All right, after the uh, test firing in the shooting range, I'm going to show you how to assemble a top loading fin stabilized 37 millimeter projectiles. First, uh, take the top cap and put a counterweight into it. Then press a counterweight into the top cap. Depending on the tolerance of your counterweight and your printer, it may be a snug fit, which you can just put in with your with your thumb, or it will be slightly tight. Then you have to use a hammer. Uh, I use a Hornady 570 cal ball, 57 cal ball, lead ball as my counterweight. Uh, but um, all the projectiles you buy from me or you download it uh, from my Odyssey page will be using a <clears throat> 45 cal ball or a 45 cal whatever projectile. For these 45 caliber, caliber 45 ACP projectiles my friend gave me. Uh, these Top caps are special ones I designed just for this occasion because I happen to have some uh, leftover 57 cal lead boss. Okay, now we are outside. Now you will need a oh, fucking hell. You will need this uh, two part of potassium nitrate and one part of cane sugar, white sugar, for the smoking compound. It will be, it will be better if you cook them and uh, make smoking caramel instead of just blending them, uh, blending this dry powder together. But this part is aluminium and I have uh, conduction cooktop, so uh, I don't have a choice. All right, then we are preparing the lifting charge for the rounds. You can use anywhere from 20 to 80 grains of black powder. So I'm going to scoop three spoons of black powder with this 20 grain measuring spoon and uh, that means we have 60 grains and we will place one base plate into the hull and press it down with our Press it down with our projectile. Then prepare the fills. Cut appropriate length fills like this. And insert it into the hole. I don't know if you, oh, you can. You can probably see it. Damn it! The lighting's really harsh in here. I probably have to do this off camera. Check house off camera, and uh, let's see if you can see them in here oh fucking hell like this holy shit all right anyways let's uh, put this smoking compound into this you will need a funnel to do this. Okay, more. A bit more. Okay, that's probably enough.
you see them? Oh, okay. All right. After uh, the smoking compound, it's time to install the end cap onto them. You can start the thread using your hand and tighten them with a flathead screwdriver, like so. Oh. Now we are going to put a chalk compound into these two shells. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to show you with this uh, 4.5 inch commercial house instead. I designed two types of uh, two types of signaling projectiles. One is this 90 millimeter long, and as you can already see here, this 90 millimeter long projectile will stick out a little uh, if you stuff them into these three inches commercial house. But these um, shorter 90 milli long projectiles will sit pretty much flush into these 4.5 inches long house. I also have these uh, 130 millimeter, millimeter long signaling projectiles which will stick um, a little bit taller out from this 4.5 uh, inches house. You can also use this as chalk house, however um, they will not work better. Uh, with they will not work better than these specifically designed chalk projectiles because these signaling projectiles has thicker walls which means they are harder to break than these uh, chalk rounds which only has one millimeter thick walls All right, with all these uh, projectiles inserted, I'm going to show you how exactly they work and how exactly they look. Um, and you can see here the 90 millimeter projectiles uh, sits flush with this 4.5 inches house. And I have sticked it a little piece of masking tape to cover up it as fuse hole so I can use them as uh, chalk rounds. And as I have previously said, they will not, not work as good as this specifically designed chalk rounds. And the 130 millimeter projectiles will stick up a little bit from the 4.5 inches hole, just like how 90 millimeter projectiles stick a little bit out of this three inches hull and uh, 130 milli stick, uh, sticks out a lot from this three inch hull.